Every time we've released a 10 things you can toss video, you guys have freaked out in a good way. You've stopped the video, gone around your house, found those items, put them at the front of your house and decluttered all because you just watched this video. So what we're doing is we're giving you 10 more things that you can toss because well, it might be a little selfish, but I kind of like doing these too because I actually go through and toss things from my house and that feels really good. So I hope the trickle down effect takes place and you guys do the same thing. So let's find those 10 things and start tossing. Before we get to tossing, if you haven't done so already, just a quick reminder to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel. And if you are interested in decluttering, give this video a thumbs up. First up, cleaning products that you're no longer using. Kind of like other products that you buy to try and maybe decide that you don't love them, cleaning products can really stack up and waste a lot of space under your cupboard or in your laundry room or wherever it is that you keep your cleaning products. So go through, pick out the things that you don't use anymore and either decide to give them to a friend or someone who you know might use them or go on your local municipality, county or city website and find out the proper way to dispose of these products. Down the drain and down the toilet, not the right way. And by the way, if you wanna save space on cleaning products, why don't you try making your own? A couple times a week, I like to relax and unwind with the delightful fumes of nail polish. That's right, I do my nails a couple of times a week and every now and then I will treat myself to a new bottle of nail polish. Now, the issue is I also have old bottles of nail polish that I continue to skip through, kind of like clothes. You know, you keep going through your closet and you're like, yeah, I'm not gonna wear that today. It's kind of the same deal with nail polish. So what I am going to do is sort through my pile of nail polish, pick out the ones I don't use. If they're old, I'm gonna toss them. And if they're just not my taste anymore, I'm gonna give them away. You should try the same thing. Plastic containers are another big clutter issue in homes, mine as well. In fact, I don't know where half these things came from and a lot of these are just there and they don't have lids or they don't have bottoms. Go figure. So I guess what happens over time is you visit some friends or family, they give you some to-go items and then you bring it home in a container and then you've got to keep the container, you have to remember to bring it to them next time. It's a whole thing. So what we've done here is we've actually transitioned over to glass containers and I think in the future we are just going to bring stuff to friends' houses or family and then that way we can take home our own leftovers. I mean, not to be presumptuous, but it is kind of better than collecting OPC, other people's containers. It's fun to decorate your house and find nice things to replace the not so nice things. But the question is, what are you doing with that not so nice stuff? Are you just stockpiling it for a rainy day or are you moving on from it? In our case, we mostly get rid of stuff, we donate it, but every now and then some weird stuff manages to, I don't know, find its way into our basement and just stay there. So what I would recommend is go through all of your home decor items that have fallen out of style or favor and give those away. Do you guys know where this lamp is from? If you do, let me know in the comments down below. Nothing says memory lane like looking at your old cell phones. And fortunately in this house, we can do that because Chad keeps all of his old cell phones. In fact, he has an old StarTac flip phone that I think he was too embarrassed to put on display here. Point is, I don't know why he keeps these items. I'm sure our children won't care about these items, but for whatever reason, he's clung on to them for dear life. I say get rid of the old electronics. Go on your municipality or county or city website, find out the safe way to do it where you live and just bid them farewell. If you wanna see them, go to a museum. And you never know, you might even be able to get some money for them as well. If you're a fan of takeout, your junk drawer is probably one third full with this stuff. Chopsticks, coloring napkins, single serve condiments, salt and pepper packets, you know the drill. You have all that stuff from takeout sitting there because you kind of feel bad about throwing it out. Oh, I'll use it next time, but you never do. You end up getting more, sticking it in the old junk drawer, and then the next thing you know, you're overwhelmed with all kinds of plastic one-use disposable stuff. So rule number one, ditch all of this stuff for once and for all. If you do have the ability to use it, 
use it. If not, dispose of it responsibly. And going forward, when you're getting takeout, this is what I do. I ask them not to send anything that's single serve. I have all of that stuff available to me at home for free, zero environmental impact. So do yourself and the environment a favor and just say no to disposable one-use stuff. From what I know, there are two reasons people have kids. One, to carry on their legacy, and two, to provide them with copious amounts of artwork. Kids are art machines, and when they come home from school or a friend's house or any after-school endeavor that they have, they're always producing cute little drawings. And Summer, who was our little volunteer today, allowed me to look through several of her drawings, and I believe this is just from one week's worth. We have a whole pile here. I don't know how her mom deals with it. But what you can do, instead of keeping all of this art stockpiled, is find an app or some sort of website that helps you collate all the art and digitally store it. That way, you can keep the physical stuff that you really love, but everything else you can put into some sort of scrapbook. I believe the one that we found that we really liked is called Archive App. Dot com. So you can go to that website, we'll put the link for you down below. You can either upload everything or there's, they have a concierge service, who knew? You can send all your kids artwork to this service and they will catalog and do all kinds of interesting things with your kids art. I don't know. But anyway, I hope you do it because it's a great way to declutter a big pile of paper. Recently I've gone through my jewelry box, I've put everything in my new one, but honestly, even I find broken or single pieces of jewelry that should be pairs of earrings or whatever. And the point is, if you go through your jewelry box on a fairly regular basis and call out the things that are tarnished, things that are out of style, single items or broken items that you swore you were going to fix but never have. If there's something that you really love that you want to polish up, go ahead and do it. We have a video on how to clean your silver, but if you have something that's broken or out of style, perhaps it's time to move on from it. If it's a valuable metal, you can always sell it and get some money. You know those commercials. Or if it's something not so special, but something you don't want to hang on to anymore, you can probably find a young girl in your life who might really love to glam up wearing your jewelry or someone that loves scrapbooking who would love to craft with what you have. Be sure to pass it on. Have you seen this man or if not Hulk Hogan, another character painted on some other glass that you have lying around your house? You probably do have these cups and mugs and glasses lying around. This one happens to be Chad's. I just did some math. He had it when he was 14 years old. Fun. I married that. Anyway, the, he's laughing. The point is, if you have these glasses lying around your house and they don't fit into your everyday decor and you don't use them on a regular basis, I get it, I know it's sentimental, but honestly, it takes up real estate in a cupboard and it's not worth hanging on to. So if you can, find the glasses, cups, and mugs that you're done with, wrap them up, and put them in your donation bin. That way somebody else can enjoy them. As a business owner, and frankly, as a human being, I get cluttered up with a lot of receipts. They are frustrating to deal with, and they take up a lot of unnecessary space. We, over the years, have decided to get rid of all of this paper clutter by finding a digital solution for receipts and bills and all that kind of stuff. You can find lots of different options online. We use one called Receipt Bank, but honestly, there are lots of great ones. The point is you want to get rid of this paper clutter and find a safe way to digitally store this information. That way, after you snap a picture, you can safely shred your items and know that it is safe online for you to access at any time. The goal with this kind of video is to get you mobilized to declutter. And I know we love doing them here at the CMS HQ because it certainly gets our butts in gear when it comes to decluttering some of the stuff that's taking up far too much real estate in our house. I'd love to know in the comments down below what item or collection do you have that's really difficult for you to get rid of? Maybe we can help you with it. Or if you've used these videos, let us know your success stories, all in the comments down below. If you wanna see what I'm up to during the rest of the week, aside from picking through Chad's special items and getting rid of them, you can find me on Instagram and Snapchat. I am at Melissa Maker. And the guy who goes through the items that I've decluttered and then picks out the stuff that he actually wants to keep, 
Well, he is at the Chad Reynolds and we are at Clean My Space. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Well, it's that special time of the week where I get to throw you to a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And because we're in the mood to declutter, why not check out our first two 10 things to toss videos? They are very inspirational and motivational. They will get you tossing like there's no tomorrow. Now, if you haven't done so already, make sure you visit our website. It's cleanmyspace.com where you can get all kinds of great cleaning information. And you can also sign up for our monthly newsletter. It's called the dirty dish and it's free. Thanks guys. And I'll see you next time.